We all know or understand that education, higher education, is really essential for, uh, I would say, as a uh, driving force for the economy afterwards. Uh, in higher education, uh, depends uh, or relies on research and uh, teaching, yes? Mm. And, uh, you know, both, I, I, I would say, uh, are, uh, or, or it's a must in both cases, to remember two things, that students and researchers uh, have complete freedom of expression and academic freedom. Without it, I think that the whole, uh, uh, I would say, structure of education collapses. Uh, academic uh, uh, freedom, this means that uh, doesn't mean doesn't matter who supports you financially, finally you do your own research. Otherwise, a lot of the ideas might be in a way uh, uh, hidden, mm -hmm. not expressed. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech is a bit, li it a bit different, and this uh, gives the, the, I would say, the faculty and the, the students the possibility to say whatever they have on their mind. Now, this is more sensitive than academic freedom because here governments come in. And, you know, this happens worldwide. And it's much more convenient for governments to say, you know, uh, you can express A and not express idea B. Uh, we lucked out in Israel that uh, in spite of the uh, tough geopolitical uh, situation, we do maintain freedom of speech. Not always, not always. In I universities? Would say in the, uh, the, I, I'm talking only about the university right, now. Right. Yes, uh, in, uh, in the media, this, 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 this exists. Yeah. But don't forget that we are sponsored by the government. Mm. The, our main sponsor of all universities mm. is the government. So, so I'm not saying that the government is happy with what students and faculty say. They even comment on this from time to time, but we very, very strongly defend it. And I think that, that you know, the definition of uh, uh, freedom of speech is, uh, even if it really drives me nuts, still I have to listen to it. Now, it's very important for us to maintain it because what derives from it directly is the academic uh, uh, freedom. And they both really coexist, right. although, as I said, they are not completely the same. So, uh, you know, countries where you don't have academic freedom of speech, I think that there is a strong correlation between their, I would say, uh, uh, you know, cultural development and also scientific development. So uh, this is right. in a nutshell. So in Israel again, or in, in your university, do you draw any boundaries at all? Particularly, let's say, when someone wants to criticize <coughs> the state uh, and in a fairly uh, vituperative manner? Yes. We do defend it, and I must say that I even defend those ideas that I'm very strongly against, mm -hmm. because this is the definition of uh, freedom of speech. So uh, someone could question, let's say, the formation of Israel in, in, in as an academic, as a student, but that would not be held so against. Have, so we have to listen to him or her. Mm. Uh, you know, there is even a more extreme limit. Mm -hmm. You know that these days there are institutions mainly in the West, West of Israel, I mean, mm -hmm that uh, call to boycott Israel mm. and boycott the academia in Israel, which is actually uh, completely, in, uh, doesn't have any logic because mm. academia is a bridge, always plays a bridge. Uh, and the question is, if comes a university professor and says, you know, I am supporting the boycott on academia. So he or she actually sit on the, cut the branch on which they sit. Mm. What do you do? So, you know, you won't be surprised to hear that I'm against it. Mm. <laughs> Nevertheless, we let them speak. We don't encourage them, but we don't stop them. Uh, and there is a lot of criticism on us because they said, you know, we, we pay their salaries. How can they, uh, how can they uh, boycott the, 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 the employer? Yes, uh, uh, in a company it won't happen. But I think that once you start putting these limitations, you don't know where it ends, yes. So how do you ensure this continuing freedom and the continuing sense of independence? And uh, how do you ensure that uh, you know, students are given their space and protected in some ways from all of this outside world? You know, once it's part of your DNA, mm -hmm. once it's part of your culture, it's, it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier. 
you know, and until now we have not broken mm. any of these, uh, I would say, rights that we gained, yes? Uh, so from this point of view, yes, we, here and there we are criticized. Sometimes even, uh, you know, it's a stronger criticism. But uh, uh, I, I would say that we, I, I don't want to take credit for being bra for bravely defending it, mm. but we do defend it, and defend it and it works. And I'm telling you, again, uh, the strong understanding is that once we start biting into this uh, uh, freedom, yes, uh, it will, it will, it will. Later on, we will, we will be told what to research, and this mm. is, I think, uh, not the end, but a very, very slippery uh, slope Stop. for losing our edge as a, as an innovation center or uh, innovation country, or as, as we, we are known as startup nation. Yeah. Right, and is that any the one exciting or interesting innovation that came out in the last year? That uh, innovations, you know, uh, it, this is more on a personal level. Mm. Uh, yes, we have uh, we have quite a lot. Uh, we have new discoveries on uh, what it means to have a memory, uh, which is driven by environment and not necessarily within your genetic code. Mm. Uh, we have, for instance, something more practical immediately. Uh, a multispectral uh, uh, camera on a smartphone, which uh, uh, succeeded in raising a very substantial fund mm -hmm. uh, recently, and this is also important as a sensor, sensor for materials, sensor for cars in the in the future, and so the, so uh, you know uh, I, I'll tell you that the university is large. And since we don't uh, regulate the faculty, mm. uh, there are probably many, many other inventions that I don't even know about.